Hi everyone. Many of us know that not getting enough sleep can affect our mood, energy and general health, but it also has other effects. In this video we're going to check out the effects of undersleeping on two important aspects of learning, our memory and focus, both of which we need to perform each day at school. Let's get into it. When we learn things throughout the day, we want to store that information in our long-term memory so that we can use it at a later time. The first stage of sticking that information into our long-term memory is to send it right into the middle of the brain. We can think of this brain area as temporary storage for our new memories, like a supermarket loading dock that receives fresh fruit and vegetables during the day. We don't intend to keep the memories in the loading dock and we need to shift them to safer storage where they'll last longer. So here's where sleep comes in. If we stay awake too long, the loading dock gets busier and busier. Some of the memories get lost, crushed under new deliveries, or wilt and fade before we have a chance to move them somewhere safer. But when we shut up shop and go to sleep, the memories in the loading dock start migrating to safer and more secure areas of the brain. Sleep allows the night shift workers to move the new memories inside to cold storage, where they are safer and will last longer. This process only occurs while we sleep. No amount of coffee or loud music can hack this process. So sleep has two important benefits for our ability to memorize new information. Firstly, sleeping helps us secure new memories. As we clear the loading dock, we transfer memories to safer places. Once the memories are in more secure areas of the brain, they're less likely to get lost and fade. Secondly, sleeping helps us clear up the loading dock for new deliveries the next day. When we wake up the next day, this crucial part in the middle of our brain is now cleared to take on and learn new information. So we might be tempted to think that sleep is for the weak or that we can sleep when we're dead, but sleep has a really important role in our ability to memorize new information. When we go to sleep, we give our brains the chance to secure our new memories and make space for what we need to learn tomorrow. There's one more massive cognitive benefit that we can get from sleeping. Sleep refreshes our ability to focus and concentrate. Research has shown that undersleeping, even by a couple of hours each night, can wreck our ability to focus. Most people would think that getting six hours of sleep for 10 nights in a row is not too bad. We would still feel okay, maybe not our best, but we could manage to get through each day. The reality is that after 10 nights of 6 hours sleep, our ability to focus is the same as someone who has gone a full 24 hours without any sleep. This might be surprising. If we slept 6 hours a night for 10 nights, we probably wouldn't feel as bad as if we just skipped sleep for an entire day. But the impact on our ability to focus is the same in both situations. Focus is crucial for getting things done, especially in school. Whenever we need to take in a lesson, read a book, write or solve problems, we rely on our ability to focus our attention for sustained periods of time. If we're sleeping less than we should, then we damage our ability to perform this important skill. Over time, these effects can add up and make our job harder when it comes to exam time. This is why it's important that we understand the role of sleep in our learning and explore strategies for achieving the right amount. Let's wrap up this video. Pause here and try to come up with answers to these quick questions. In summary, sleep shifts memories from our brain's short-term storage to safer areas. By clearing things out, we also free up space to learn and memorize new things the next day. If we undersleep, even by only a couple of hours, our ability to focus quickly disappears. After a few days, our awareness levels are the same as someone who has skipped a whole night of sleep. We might feel okay, but the reality is that our brain is struggling to keep up. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.